a happy new year. It's New Year's Day. I'm going for a long walk in the city of Buenos Aires in Argentina. 14 million people, but most of them are asleep right now. So, at least for a couple hours, I think I have the city to myself. There's not going to be much drama in this video. The only drama might be where to find a bathroom when everything's closed on New Year's Day. I'm going to walk for about 175 blocks. Each block is 100 meters. So, that'll be somewhere over 10 miles or so. I didn't really do the math, but it's a long walk. My plan is to simply show you what I see along the way. In my original plan for this video, I was going to talk a little bit about the Appalachian Trail and my fears as I continue to prepare for my through hike. A little bit of traffic. But I changed my mind. Now this is just going to be a standalone video having to do with my walk through the city of Buenos Aires. Basically, I'm going to save the Appalachian Trail talk for when I get down south of here another couple thousand miles to Patagonia. I hope to do a little bit of walking in the mountains next week. Of course, I always like to have a map with me. Here's South America. The green is Argentina. I'm right about here where my finger is. That's the city of Buenos Aires. Later next week, Andrea, Sam, and I will be going south down to the very tip of South America, a city called Ushuaia. I started this hike about 6.30 this morning. It's about nine o'clock now. Temperature when I started was about 70 degrees. It's probably over 80 now. This is while the United States is, is, is in its deep freeze. So we're in summer here, it's much warmer. Total time on this trip to South America is about three weeks. We've been in Buenos Aires for more than a week. And as I said, uh, in a few days, we're headed down to Patagonia and specifically the city of Ushuaia. Tomorrow and Tuesday, we're going to go to Uruguay, a city called Colonia, which is across the river plate from 
Buenos Aires. We'll spend the day there. I'm in a neighborhood called Palermo now, a long way from Puerto Madero this morning. I'm on a little street here surrounded by street art. They're cleaning up at the plaza from last night's reveling. Last night, Andrea, Sam, and I stayed in our apartment on Cajau, Avenido Cajau, and we're on the eighth floor. When the time got kind of down to midnight and everybody went crazy, went out on the balcony, looked around, people were setting off fireworks all, all over the place, and down the street, on a rooftop, somebody had some really nice fireworks that were going off. It was, it was a neat time. It lasted for about an hour. We could have gone out into the street and probably seen some better fireworks uh, at shows, exhibits, but we stayed inside. We were tired. We're kind of boring Americans and didn't want to uh, fight the crowds. If there were any crowds to be fought, we weren't even sure. Getting close to being finished, I just want to do a little map view of where I went. I started off in this area. This is Cajau. This is Recoleta Cemetery for anybody who's been to Buenos Aires. That's a familiar point of reference. I went down this way, past Retiro, the train station, through Plaza St. Martin and over into this area, which is Puerto Madero. Then I came up into the micro center where the Cosa Rosada, the pink house is and the Plaza de Maggio. I walked down this street, Avenido uh, Maggio, I think it is, down to Congress. Then I went over here on Corrientes, up this way on Cajau, over this way in Santa Fe until I was in Palermo eventually and walked down to Plaza Serrano, then back up this way around the zoo over into uh, the park, Parque de Tres de Febrero, so this area, and then I came back via Alcorta, and now I'm back in this area, and I'm gonna head back to my apartment. I wasn't really set up to do a proper tour video where I gave you a whole lot of perspective on the city and where I was and what I was looking at in the history. Part of the problem was that even though I thought the city would be sort of dead, it eventually woke up and there was a lot of traffic noise. So in any event, about nine years ago, I was here for a month. Andrea and I used to come here for a month at a time. We did that three times with Sam. And our, our law firm was at a point where we were taking very, only mostly very large cases that were document intensive. And we could come down here. And as long as we didn't have any court appearances, we could do a lot of discovery and document review and that kind of thing and use the internet to, to communicate with people. It was really great. And the first time we did that, I did a long blog post on the blog that I was keeping at that time, which is still up on the internet called Legal Underground. And that post is still available. I'll link to it in the uh, video description so that if you're interested in more of the details about Buenos Aires or how we get around here and what we do and how we rent apartments and that sort of thing. You can find some of that information in the blog post. I 
it turns out that Recoleta Cemetery is open. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk in there a little bit up and down some of the roads with my camera rolling. It's pretty impressive. People behind me are taking a look at where Avita is buried. We're out of the cemetery, 